ICT. A crisis is looming in the education sector following revelations that only 3,500 classrooms will be constructed within the next four months. Falling short of the number required by the Pioneer Junior Secondary School class that will be advancing to Grade 9. Now this comes even as many question the availability of capitation funds for schools. An Musungu reports. The government had planned to construct 16,000 classrooms to accommodate the pioneering junior secondary school class transitioning to Grade 9 by January. However, with only 3,500 classrooms expected to be completed in the next four months, a staggering deficit of 12,500 classrooms looms. This shortfall raises concerns about the availability of adequate facilities to support the smooth transitioning of these students to the next academic level. We have uh, released the money, uh, the 3.5 billion, and uh, I think uh, early in next financial year, we are again uh, releasing more. We have comfortably started. The first part of the classroom should be complete in, uh, in four months' time, and uh, we are starting another part in about two months' time. By the end of the year, December, we should have done uh, between 16,000 and 18,000 classrooms. Meanwhile, the Education Cabinet Secretary Ezekiel Machugu has dismissed reports of a crisis regarding non-disbursement of funds for public universities. The CES insisted there is no crisis in the universities. If you look at the total amount that was allocated this financial year, and so far what we have been able to get in terms of exchequer release, uh, government has been able to do very well. Uh, I might not be able to give you the exact figures as of now, but uh, our universities, uh, the vice chancellors are here. Even uh, uh, sometime in May, we were able to release uh, exchequer. So if there's one such uh, department, sector that subsector that the government has done very well uh, in giving out capitation is in our universities. The CEO helped Charles Ringera on contrary, acknowledging that the disbursement of funds to educational institutions had encountered significant delays, potentially impacting their operations. Uh, scholarship and uh, loans from University Fund, Help, and also State Department of TVET have significantly impacted in terms of operations of higher, higher learning institutions because remember we fund the students and this has caused uh, disruption and also financial strain. These delays particularly have been problematic as, as the funds are released in quarters because that exchequer is normally released under capitated basis and most of the, the funds are released midway through the academic year. The delays in scholarship, loans and uh, loans disbursement also affect the students who depend on the funds for purposes of their upkeep when they're in school. And Musungu Kete News, Nairobi. Angry women from Garage in Moibensab County in Wasingishu County staged demonstrations.